Hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys an update uh, on the QTX emulsion and how I do it now because they don't sell the bulbs anymore in my state because of some energy law. So now I've been using this 50 watt, uh, 50 watt LED panel found on Amazon. A bunch of other YouTubers have suggested it, so I happen to uh, start using it now. Uh, I have it at 20 inches. I'll try to put this stuff in the comments. Uh, 20 inches, or in the description. 20 inches, and then I leave it on for like a minute and 15 to a minute and 20, and it does render out half tones. Oh, there's a little mistake. Yeah, but that's fine. Uh, and what was it? There was somebody in the comments asking, last time, asking about the acrylic, and yes, you, sh you should use an acrylic over, over the mesh when you have your negative on there, uh, or, uh, a piece of glass this is the one that i use it's like a 16 16 by 24 16 by 20 and it fits like just perfectly actually you can see you can see the outline of how, of how it uh how it sits on there and yeah uh, and if you do have a highly reflective surface like a tile like a white tile especially a white tile this isn't that reflective it didn't mess up mess it up you will want to put something black uh under it at bonus points if you have something like a pillow to like actually press back on the acrylic so that th it sandwiches your negative better to the surface but th this just happens to work for me uh because it has a really high uh durometer so it, it it holds up so that's the update to my qtx emulsion technique uh give me some comments if you have any questions and yeah i don't think i'm gonna make another update video <laughs>